Hello and welcome to Saki Tech. So in today's video, we will be doing a web browsing speed test on the iPad 4 and the new Nexus 7. So the new Nexus 7 has a quad core processor clocked at 1.5 gigs, uh, gigahertz, and then it's got 2 gigs of RAM, and the iPad 4 has a uh, A6X dual core processor clocked at 1.4 gigahertz, and it has 1 gigabytes of RAM. So before we do anything, let's go and make sure nothing else is running in the background. So we do need the settings. I'm going to go to Safari here. I'm going to clear all the cookies and data. I'm going to clear all the history. So we have a clean slate to work with. I'm going to do the same in the... Let's close this tab here. Go to settings. And let's clear all the browsing data. Okay, so that's privacy, clear browsing data, tick all these stuffs, press clear. So now we have a clean slate on the Chrome, and we also have a clean slate on the Safari. Now the one other thing I want to talk about with the Chrome is Chrome comes with a feature called pre-loading websites. What that does is, when you, are, when you go to a new tab and you type in CNN.com, as you are typing the URL, the address, um, to go to that website, this, the, the page starts preloading in the background. So if I type CNN.com here, as I'm typing that, CNN will load in the background, so the results are going to be much faster. Now, I personally love that feature, and I think it should be part of the test, but we're going to do two, four tests today. We're going to load four websites. Two of them, I'm going to use the preloading function with own, and two of them, I'm going to turn it off. So let's do that right now. So let's go to um, CNN.com. And let me make sure, let's see where the preloading stands right now. So bandwidth management, preload pages is on. Okay, so we're going to do CNN.com. All right, so let's start this test. Go. Okay, as you can see, that was much quicker. Okay, then we're going to do Amazon.com. And we're going to press Enter at the same time. Again, this was faster. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the preloading function. Go to Bandwidth Management. Turn it off. And now we're going to do two more websites uh, with that setting disabled. So let's uh, go to GameSpot.com. That's a heavy-duty website. So the preloading is off right now. So the website is not loading in the background. Okay, ready? Okay, so the iPad is done, was done before the um, Nexus 7. However, the Nexus 7 went to the mobile website. So let's go to the full site. I'm going to do a test in a different way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, let's find something here. Let's look at this game, The Last of Us. So I'm going to tap on these guys. So that is not going to, that's going to be the same as running a test, browser test. So let's click these both. There we go. Okay, that didn't work. Let's do something different. So let's do the videos tab up here. Okay, so videos. Okay, done. And that's almost done too. So the iPad is quicker to load without the preloading function turned on on the Nexus 7. If you have the Nexus 7's preloading function turned on, it's much faster because the, the web page loads in the background. So let's do one more. Let's um see what we got here. We're going to press the gameplay right there. Okay. So I guess we couldn't tap this one. Let's do one more. Let's go to trailers. 
Ready? Okay, again, the iPad was faster when it comes to loading websites without the preloading function turned on and off. And I am going to add one more test. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start everything from the beginning. So go to settings, clear cookies and data, clear history. Okay, get rid of that. Go back to right here. And then let's go here to Chrome, go to settings and go to privacy clear browsing data clear everything and I want that off preloading web pages is turned off and now I'm just gonna go to CNN so CNN.com dot com alright ready go iPad is done. Next is done as well. So um, that's it. That's the final test. Now I personally don't care about the speed difference itself, but I wanted to make this video for those who do care, and I suppose it's a valid concern. Anyway, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you the next time.